M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here we are, Yesu FT 5D. They've brought out some new firmware. So let's have a look. I've got the files here. All the links will be in the description. Just scroll to the bottom. We've got instructions that you can download by clicking here, FT 5D instruction manual. And then we've got the, just above that, we've got, uh, we've got the firmware. Let's click up one there. Firmware here. That's the firmware. We'll put that into a file and then we'll just look at the firmware information that will hopefully tell us what the firmware has done. So the latest firmware currently have two different destination versions or USA, Japan. I'm trying to see what it's actually done. Open the file, Japan. Are they trying to make one version? Ah, support C4F and digital mode reception on 28 and 50 megahertz band. The volume settings for the main unit speaker and for the Bluetooth headset when connected are memorized separately so that an appropriate volume is provided when switching between Bluetooth and the main speaker while operating in normal VFO and memory mode with the function menu on setup menu. Pressing the PMG key directly shifts to PMG mode. Similarly, after operating the function menu or setup menu from PMG mode, press the VM key to directly switch to VFO or memory mode. Set the backlight to always on when an external power supply is connected. Fix the problem that all reset cannot be performed when a password is set. Oh, interesting. Fix the problem that changing error is intermittently displayed when charging, charging error, sorry the main unit other function improvements as well okay well let's go ahead and do it so we're going to get the firmware here and we're going to send it to extract to a file that I've got click extract there we go. I'm learning this as we do it so if I make mistakes get it wrong let me know you do this at your own risk please follow instructions exactly to the letter because you could damage your device so We've got the firmware files. We've got the instruction manual here. Let's find it. Um, main PDF. So we'll make that bigger. I'm just going to follow this step by step. Hopefully you can see the radio. I'll be checking like this just to make sure you can. Because we'll be moving it around a bit. Um, so if you see me do this, you know why. This is live Andreas M0FXB learning. So let's just go up. Now the first part, I'm not going to do the first part. Now I've got the cable out of the box already plugged into my laptop. Um, so, which we're going to use. Now the first, it gives you just some information. Read this carefully. Uh, I'm using Windows 10 and I should have all this already. The uh, Net Framework 3.5 because I did it for the FT3D. So I'm going to skip past this, but you read through it very carefully. See if you need it for your version of Windows or whatever you use. So we're going to go straight to the um, USB driver section. So just check that you can still see the radio. I just there you go. Get it as it should be. Right. So we're going to go. Just going to go for it. Go straight to the file, and. Um, See what we can do. Sorry, my um, stand is a bit wobbly. There you go. Just get that correct. Right, let's go straight to the file. So we'll go to the file section here. Find the FT5 firmware file. We've got all the files here at the at the top. There you go. Now there's the USB driver there separately. So what I'm going to do is just double click FT5D main. Click yes here. I'm going to click USB driver install. I have not connected the cable yet. So USB driver loading. We'll do this live fast forward if it gets boring. And at the same time, we'll just be checking that I am recording as we go along which we are. Okay, click install. Go 
a minute. Right, there you go. The wizard will guide you through. Go next. I have read. Go install. Setup is configuring the install. Like I said, if it gets boring, just fast forward it. Right, how you download and install the latest service packs and security updates for the product, blah, blah, blah. Right, so we're back here again. So in the end, what we've done, we've turned the, turned the radio on. Then we turned it off, plugged in the USB cable, took the battery off. So the battery's off. We've got our DC cable here. The device is off. We flick the switch upwards as per the instructions. So we got the switch in the up position. Okay. Now it's a bit of a mess. Now, and now uh, we've plugged in the DC cable in the side here. It's not the best image, but plugged in the DC cable inside. And now, when we click the device manager. What's showing up is further down, Renaissance USB development tools. So I think I'm quite happy with that. Now let's get it to the next stage. So let's get which COM port we're in. So right click device manager. So where is it? Renesis, double click that. Right click properties. Not really sure what COM port we're on. So let's remove the battery. Remove the data terminal cover on the right hand side of the transceiver. See up mode. We've done all this. Connect the FT5 transceiver to your PC cable. Connect the AC adapter to the transceiver to supply power, yes. After the preparation, press the OK button. Yeah, and it's come up and it's showing the correct, you know, driver. Uh, well, firmware version, which is this. And we're going to click OK. And then, fingers crossed, it's going to update. It does say it takes a few minutes. Right, there you go. So that's gone in. Firmware, OK. Right, now we'll do what it says now. Disconnect the AC adapter from the thing. So we'll pull that off. Disconnect the cable from the transceiver. Um, change the program switch back to the middle, which we will do. Okay, I know you can't see that, but we've just changed it back to the middle. Um, attach the cover, yeah. Connect the AC adapter to the transceiver and perform an all reset. All reset, you just push all three of these buttons here down. So you turn it off, push the, I know it's fiddly, but get your, these three buttons pushed. And then turn it on, and then you get the option there to push an all reset. I'm not going to do it now because I've uh, already done it. So if we just go cancel for now, and then hold down F menu, go to display, 
software version, look, you'll see it's 1.10. And as far as I can see, that there isn't a sub version update for this. It is literally just the main version that you're updating. So, yeah, I mean, you know, be careful, follow the instructions. I'm just learning as I do this. So, uh, 7.3, hope this helps.